Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over how to install your Elementor kit. There are three steps in order to install your Elementor kit. First is to install and activate the free Elementor plugin. The next step is to install and activate the Elementor Pro plugin. And then lastly, install the Elementor template itself. Now, before you can get started with these steps, you need to be, have done two things. You have needed to sign up for web hosting and installed WordPress. If you have not done this yet, I recommend that you go back and watch the previous video and then come back and watch this one. So assuming that you've done those two things, let's jump into it with installing and activating Elementor. So I'm going to start by navigating to my back end of WordPress. This is a completely fresh installation, so I'm starting from a clean slate. However, you don't necessarily need to do that. If you have other pages on your site, you can certainly leave them, or you can use a plugin such as WP Reset to completely reset your site and start over. So as you can see here, I've got a couple of just dummy posts that are oftentimes created when you install WordPress for the first time. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. It really doesn't matter or impact anything that we're going to be doing, but just so you can see um, very clearly what will, you know, the changes that will be happening over the course of this video. So, all right, the first thing that we're gonna do is install the Elementor plugin. So to do that, I'm going to hover over plugins and click add new. Then I'm going to search for Elementor. Find the Elementor website builder plugin, activate it, and now it's going to set me, um, walk me through a series of steps. I recommend not creating your account at this point. We'll create it when we sign up for Elementor Pro. So for now, you can just skip it. And then I highly recommend that you use the Hello theme. It's bare bones, lightweight, fast loading, great for SEO. Um, I totally agree. I've been using the Hello theme since 2020 and it's just been great. So continue with the Hello theme. You can name your site now or you can name it later. I'll skip that part. I'll also skip this, the logo, but again, you can add it now or add it later. All right, we are good to go. So we'll skip that. So now it's gonna take me to a blank Elementor Canvas page where I can start creating my website, but we have our template. So we're gonna just back out of this and continue working that process. So if I, come up here to the hamburger menu and select exit. Uh, it's gonna ask me where I wanna go when I exit the Elementor editor. So I'm just gonna say the dashboard, but that's totally up to you. I don't need to save my changes at this time. All right, so we've successfully installed and activated the free Elementor plugin. Now we are going to move on to step two, which is install and activate the Elementor Pro plugin. So unlike Elementor, the Elementor Pro plugin can only be downloaded from the Elementor website, meaning we can't do what we just did for the Elementor plugin, where we went to plugins, add new, and search for Elementor. As you can see, you won't see Elementor Pro. So what do we have to do instead? We're gonna to navigate to the Elementor website, sign up for the Pro plan, and then download the plugin, and then install it to our site. So when we come over to elementor.com, we can come and hover over pricing and see page builder plugin. So these are our pricing options for the pro plan. You will likely only need the uh, essential plan, which is $49 a year. It includes one website activation. So what you can do now is click buy now and then complete the form and click click pay now. Once you've successfully paid for your Elementor Pro plan, you'll be taken to your account page. I'm going to just hop over there now because I've already paid for Elementor. I'm not going to do it again. So once you um, have made the purchase, you'll see your account and in the top right corner next to your name, you'll see a download arrow, arrow and then the option to download, download Elementor Pro. All right, so now we can go ahead and install it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to our WordPress dashboard, select plugins, and then click upload plugin. And now it's time to drag and drop 
the zip file that we just downloaded into this section here. So I'm gonna just grab that. All right, so I'm gonna drag and drop the zip file, and then I'm going to click install now and activate plugin. So now the plugin is activated, but we need to connect and activate our Elementor Pro account by clicking connect and activate. And it knows that I'm already signed in because I just did that in my other tab. And now I can click activate. All right, so we have successfully completed the second step in setting up our Elementor template kit. Our last step is to install the Elementor template. And I just wanna take a quick second to remind you where to find your Elementor template that you've downloaded from the website. So if you come over to the Samantha Digital website, you'll go ahead and click the account icon and log in if you have not already. And then you'll hover over downloads, select downloads, and then select the download kit. Now I have a bunch of things in here because I've been testing all day, but you'll likely have just a couple. So I'll click that and then that will download the Elementor kit zip file for me. So now I'm gonna go back to my website and come over to Elementor and then Tools. Going to select Import Export Kit, Start Import, and then I'm going to find my file that I just downloaded. Drag and drop it and then click Next and Import. We need to enable unfiltered file uploads and then give it a minute to get everything set up. All right, the kit is now live on the site. So let's close this and come back and look at our pages. All right, so we've got our new page set up. So let's go ahead and click view. And here we are, we've got our homepage. So you might be wondering why is there a blank image here? And this is because this is a placeholder for your logo. And by default, Elementor kits will not copy a logo as part of an Elementor kit. So you will need to upload your own there. Um, but that is it for this video. That is how you upload your Elementor kit. In the next video, we will work on customizing it. I look forward to seeing you then.